you look at payment systems right now, digital payment systems, you have like WeChat Pay, Paytm, where they just have a, an app that connects to their bank account or is there's their bank account. You can pay, use it anywhere. People out in rural areas can just pay with a QR code. It just works. No one thinks about the technology or anything else like that. Can crypto do this? Definitely. Not just, yeah, probably, but definitely. These kinds of legacy payment rails, it's just tech. It's just ways of transmitting data back and forth of who sends what to what. Obviously, if we just use neutral data networks, neutral networks, cryptocurrencies that anyone can use without permission, obviously, I think things would go a lot better. Like everything, we need to keep working at it for a while. I think that if we really hammer down on making these networks work and hammer down on like, what are these, like, what do people do when they send a WeChat? Oh, there has to be like a username. Oh, how do we put that data on the blockchain? How do we do that in a private way? If we actually approach these problems and solve them as a real way like this has to be something that works and we actually make sure the underlying blockchains work and stop saying well you know 40 second block time is fine get rid of those excuses and start trying to like actually make the underlying tech better then i think that building an interface like that on top of this should be i wouldn't say easy but very doable